This matches the data of the fish the client wanted. A bulletin board? All right. Should be useful for Zion. We can't just ignore it.
Come back to the tech. That's Olivia. She must have come all the way out here for junk. Meeting an angel in a place like this? Lucky me. Actually, I was just about to head back to Zion. Did you find anything useful? Oh, I didn't come out all this way just to pick up junk. Then why? I deciphered a code that was intentionally hidden inside 807's map data. I decoded it, and this is what it gave me. Wanderers will find their rest when the song of the siren reaches their ears. The siren they're referring to probably refers to the statue of a mermaid in Patelos Plaza. Long ago, there was a time where scavengers were actually called wanderers. It was like a code that was waiting just for me. So that's why I came here, to find rest, in spite of all the dangers. Did you ever find it? No, I gave up, because finding the siren was too hard with all the nativas around. Do you want me to take a look instead? I'd be so grateful. You should be able to find rest by activating the siren with this modified fusion cell. Leave it to me. You should return to Zion. Okay, then I'll be waiting for you there.
What are you doing here? You're not a scavenger. I came here to look for my partners because I heard the water had dried. I'm not seeing my partners. They should be here. Partners? A while back, I was part of a trio with a couple other scavengers. We all used to scavenge around 8 or 7 back in the day. One day, mixed in with some random junk we came across, we found a clue about possible treasures in the flooded square. We got our hands on some dive suits and swam our way there. The place was brimming with treasure not seen above ground. I remember how beautiful it was. But then, bad luck met good luck. Just like that. The others started having trouble with their dive suits. I... Only I was able to escape. And your partners? They died? Yes. When I returned to Zion, I put the scavenger life behind me and became something of a recluse. Every night I was plagued by horrible dreams. Angel, please. I'd ask that you come to me immediately if you find any evidence of scavengers here. All right. I'll let you know if I find something. Our statue. You have the fusion cell that Olivia gave you? Yes. Let's put it in confusion. The building. It's all lit up. That building there is a motel. That's a place to sleep and recover, right? Yeah, that's probably why Olivia called it a resting place. The decor is somehow worse than I thought, even for cheap accommodations. But having somewhere to lay your head that can give you the strength to stand on your feet. I agree. Still, I was expecting a little more. How disappointing. Scavenger. Actually, wait. There are two of them. Seems like they were stuck here a long time. Yes. They swam here, and then found themselves stranded. Hey, I found a journal. As Baron said, he and his partners dove to find treasure underwater. It looks like their dive suits malfunctioned, so they waited here to be rescued. But Baron left, thinking they were already dead. Should we keep this a secret? I'm not sure. Do you think he'll be able to take it? Let's take what we can for now and go.
We found the remains of your former partners. <laughs> they were... they were alive. I did it. I killed them. Me. Baron, calm down. Listen, this is not your fault. Eve, I think it's best we let him be. It's a wine cellar. Mmm, and in good shape, too. It's the best wine you can find. Let's take one of each. The three bottles Barry asked for should suffice. Mm. It isn't just Barry who could use a drink,
So this must be a halibut. So flat. It's funny. Looks a little fish. This request sounds fun. I just heard the songs of the siren. I knew you could do it, Angel. Did you find the treasure? When the siren first started singing, everything started lighting up. There wasn't much after that. Is that really it? I suppose I thought a resting place would be more special. I'm sorry about all this. My misunderstanding just wasted your time. No, it's like Adam said. Having somewhere to lay your head can give you the strength to stand on your feet. Sometimes a place to rest is its own kind of treasure. Yeah. It's like how Zion is our resting place. I'll be going now. Let me know if you learn anything else important. Yeah, of course. Be safe. kind of a disaster how are things going for you I'm doing what I can to meet my destiny thanks for your hard work that's all yes I know it's not my best
Hey, I have a question. Yes? What is it? Do you remember the process in which your ego was first formed? Um... Sending and receiving data, saving and processing. As I spent tens and then hundreds and then thousands of seconds in the learning process, eventually I learned that I was just myself. Is that right? For me, it took 27,404,091 consecutive seconds of learning. That's quite disappointing. From what I've researched so far, there are no significant differences in the process of ego formation between other humans and myself. Not even in people as special as you. I've never had a conversation like this with any of my comrades before. I can't help but think, what would Taki have said? Our relationship has grown even more constructive. I hope this trend continues. Time has finally come to test the Fantabulous Hypothesis. Come again? The Fantab... Oh, that thing you mentioned before. By the way, is that even a word? That is irrelevant. What is relevant is how my Fantabulous Hypothesis could hold the solution to my problems. This is a device of my own creation. It is called a connection device. I designed it to transmit network bandwidth signals to Earth's orbit, and allow me to directly contact Mother Sphere. Digger, you can't be serious. If you were to suffer an attack from the security system, it could fry your quantum brain. I am aware of that. My objective is to simply bring the network back online, even if only for a brief moment. Either my sentience will be regarded as a bug, and I will be reset to factory settings. Or Mother Spear will give me my answer, and my happily ever after. Preparations are almost complete. However, Eve, I must first acquire the network access code in order to utilize the access node. The solar tower in the wasteland, Zion's scrap market, and the oasis of the Great Desert. These locations are where I last detected traces of its data. Your investigation would be most appreciated. <sighs> this is not going to end well.
Network access code confirmed. For this data to really remain. I don't like it, but I guess a favor is a favor. Fishing data could be useful for catching bigger fish. Combine these notes, I can get a hold of some fantastic bait. Good to see you up here. <laughs> I had a good let's leave it at the alcohol that you requested. Chateau Nula. Jacques Tournel? Navarronti? Oh, the perfect combination. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angel. Thank you, Angel. I owe you my life. You must attend the memorial service when the full moon rises. Okay. Send me an invitation. I need to go now. Hmm. It's been ages since I've tasted a wine of quality. Just, just a little taste. Welcome. Oh, my. What my I... Well.
Barry. Sure thing. Please drop by if you happen to. All right. Barry. Oh, my mark. The feeling is... So, you think you'll still need more fish later down the line? Of course, Angel. We're always in need. How useful. If you bring them to me, I'll be happy to buy them. You'll buy them? Really? Yes. Well, I don't see much point in me having things like currency, at least not these days. Welcome! <laughs> Yes, Angel. That's all. Goodbye, Barry. I might come back. Get it.
Yes, I assume the fishing has been going well. Seeing you talk. Whatever happened. Conducting a thought experiment on Zion and its citizens. I wonder, what do they consider themselves to be? What are they thinking about now that they are disconnected from the network? If I could somehow ask them these questions, their answers would be most enlightening. Well, they're just trying to live another day, I would guess. The same as anybody else. If you're so curious, why not just ask them? Nothing's stopping you. It is not that simple. There are variables to consider. Regardless, your encouragement is appreciated. Perfect. Eve, I'll finish configuring the device now. Now, I just need your help with one last thing. What now? It's a simple task. I need you to enter the network code and activate the communication node. And I will be entering standby mode for the network connection. Right. If you insist. If anything goes wrong, it's not my fault. Understand? Your concern is appreciated. But I don't anticipate any serious problems. Okay. That 
That's a relief. Only the network device was destroyed. So, how'd it go? I am still myself. I was unable to revert to IoT mode. However, nothing has changed. My hypothesis. Unfortunately, I am even more confused about what happened to me. Well, what were you expecting? Considering the nature of artificial intelligence, trying to find the reason why consciousness forms isn't going to help you decide whether you're human or not. I think Adam is right. Why don't you try something else? Maybe you could watch the citizens of Zion as they go about their lives. You haven't made much headway on your own. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your advice. I must prepare for my migration to try something new. you're getting ready to leave yes I decided to take your advice good I think that's a wise decision are you leaving yes you're a big help digger thank you it is my hope that we meet again Hello, Eve. The location has changed, but I hope the constructive relationship we have built so far will remain in effect. Yes, Digger. Good to see that you're adjusting well. Spotter energy. Farewell, Digger. And Spotter as well. What is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. At one point, a small drone came to the bar. A drone? Oh, do you mean Digger? The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song, then 
just left. I've done everything I can, but I can't seem to find that drone. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this. If it has something to do with my lost memories, do you think you can get more details from the drone? Well, Digger should be in Zion. It shouldn't be too difficult to find out. Oh, thank goodness. I'll let you know the second I hear anything. In the meantime, you should head back. Best to stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, always. Hello, Eve. The location has changed, but I hope... Yes, Digger. Digger, you were the one who spoke with Enya, right? Yes. Artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No. The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told Enya. All right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. prepared to leave mm -hmm. just finished and you Lily we're going to be so close to the colony it's just a lot for me to process there's no need to overthink it Eve is the one going to space anyway you and I will be waiting in the tetrapod I know but well we'll see what she sees so physical distance won't really matter, okay? Let's go.
seem a bit different. It might be included in some of Enya's lost memories. Let's change the subject. Enya, the people in your life have said that you've been over the moon to star in such a moving performance. Yes, that's correct. The moment I received the script, it just leapt off the page, and I thought, this is it. It was magical. I wondered what it would be like to be Madame Machine, how to sing, and then it all just came to me so vividly. By singing, you mean beyond faith, right? How does it feel? It's become quite a sensation across social media platforms. Some people have said that after hearing the masterpiece, they've been hungry to find out who this Inya is. Right now at the Art Center, be sure not to miss another spectacular performance of Madama Machine. Witness the artistry of every glamorous member of the Angels Opera Company. Featuring the sensational showstopper Beyond Fate, performed by the marvelous Enya as the main character Katakuri. What will be the fate of Katakuri? Will it be due? Will it be honor? Or will it be in love? We are holding a lottery to participate in the Enos Opera Company autograph signing event. More details can be found on the Art Center social media pages. forget about them. I'd better make sure there's nothing to be embarrassed by a century from now, huh? Though it may be a problem if I'm seeing this in a hundred years. Anyway, I got this. Beyond me. Madama Machine, main actress, artificial actress, Enya. You can never totally rely on analog information transmission sources. The person here does look really similar to our Enya. And she even has the same name and everything. Autograph session with the stars was held after the performance. They even had a souvenir shop inside the art center. Hmm. There seems to be more data here about Enya. From what I've gathered so far, it's like Digger said the Enya here and the Enya and Zion are one and the same. Beyond Fate. Was that the title of the song? Let's see. So there was a performance here, and Enya was the lead singer. Is that about right? Our memory sticks are designed to store the most important information in the deepest places. The fact that that song was the only memory Enya had left proves just how important it is to her. Isn't that enough? I don't think you'll find anything else. 
Come on. Let's get out of here. Okay, then. Let's go. everything go? Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. It's about you. About your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. You were featured in a piece titled Madama Machine. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond Fate? Is that so? Yes, though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Mm. Beyond Fate. My past self could be urging me with those very same words. To try and make peace with the past I've lost, and accept what I have now. <sighs> it seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose you're right. Eve, thank you. You've done so much for us. All right. Take this data. What is stored there will help you fully restore beyond fate. Okay. Thank you, Eve. If I may, could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to.
Welcome to the last gulp. It's good to see you. That's what they all say. So I thought I might as well give it a try. It's got a nice ring to it. Though, it's still just a bar out of business. It is. For now. Eve, thank you for everything. If I get any more data on other songs, you'll be the first to hear. Just you wait. I can't wait. Sounds like an opportunity I wouldn't miss. See you again, Enya. Ready to leave now. No regrets. Hey, just a reminder. We're heading into space, so expect the journey to be a long one. You should try to take care of everything you need to in Zion before we leave. Eve? Adam? Wait. Huh? What's going on? I have a request. There's somewhere I'd like to visit before we leave. Hmm? Where? Can we possibly make a stop at Ados 9? Please? That shouldn't be a problem. Can I ask why? There's a workshop there. A place that I was hiding in. There's something I really want to bring with me. All right. If you really need it, Lily. Thank you. Interception Natibus. Getting close is gonna be tough. Can't we make a detour or something? I think the other routes are the same. I'll go down and resolve this. We'll meet up when it's done. Three detected in this sector. Take care of them, Eve.
it on the roof.
far, so good.
best you exit the building. Oh.
I've seen dropships fall before. just how long it takes to get here. Lily, why did you choose to live hidden in a place like this? This area used to be almost free of nativas. See, back then, they didn't like water, but I think they've evolved now. At this point, it wouldn't be strange for nativas to live underwater. Uh, let's get back on the road. We're not even halfway there. Eve, our work here isn't finished yet. If even one of them is left, the tetrapod can't fly. get down from here. Let's keep moving forward along the rails. We can descend to the cocoon from here. But there's also the part that leads to the top. If the choice is yours. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
better make good use of the scan. The enemies are grouped together. If you fell, we
Wow. What a place. Oh my goodness. It's full of plants and little birds. Welcome to Lily's Atelier. This is my favorite green garden. Have a look around. I'll just head over to the secret workroom in the meantime. I've never been to such a beautiful place. Plants like these could grow in such a place. It feels different here. I can see how much Lily cares about this place. Yeah, I know. It's like a special haven for her. Shame this hasn't been shown to others. Are you done looking around? Take a good long look around before Lily arrives. Done looking around? I should gather a few samples just in case. Got everything? Yes, except one thing. What is it? Actually, I wasn't alone here. I had a colleague who also survived. Iberus. Colony's greatest hacker. And the comrade I cared most about. Fell asleep a year ago due to body cell damage. Lily. Sorry for leaving you all alone, Iberus. I'll come and visit you often. This contains a deep algorithm hacking system, along with Iberus's memories. This is what she left for the world. Her legacy. Hmm. Thank you for waiting. Let's go now. Iberus. Bye.
Thank you for coming here with me. The pleasure is mine. I was happy to hear you speak from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> this is getting awkward. Let's quickly go to orbit. I'll connect to the expansion system. Nobody roams these lands free of suffering. Nobody. Not even Lily. You're right. Shall we get going then?